guys, Ruben here, CreaSX GFI. We are now on episode number 23. Uh, left to right, I'll let you guys introduce yourselves. Rafael right here. Fernando. Hector here. Oh, Lex. <laughs> and uh, today's episode will be about SB 264. Fl Florida moves to restrict foreigners from property property buys. Ownerships, damn. Okay, so I mean, this is a we can talk. This is a topic we can talk about for for hours, but we have a few minutes to get this in, right? So uh, you guys at any time chime in on your thoughts or whatever, and please do not be afraid of debate. So we can have it all day. Okay. So with that being said, a little bit about SB two sixty four. So pretty much what's happening right now: the bill restricts restricts citizens of China, Russia, North Korea, Cuba, Venezuela, Syria from acquiring farmland or any property within 20 miles of a military installation or infrastructure, infrastructure such as an airport or a seaport. They said 20 and they say 10. They give some confusion information. Yeah, so what I saw is 10, but we could check the sources for you guys. Yeah. Then they said 10 and, and most of them right. from airports. Uh, yeah, they said critical infrastructure yeah, yeah, from about. the way that it's located in the map is basically all Florida. It's pretty much the radius. Right? If within, yes. if, if within 10 miles, you have a water system, and then you go out in another nine miles, you have an airport. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of like military bases yeah. to out there. He approached that smart. Yeah, right? he definitely had a plan. Dodge, you got and they're suing, but I know that he's going to get his way with saying certain things about the military yeah. and their needs or what risks they're in. It's just, and he knew what he was yeah. doing. Anytime you have foreign countries trying to... Uh, buy land here, and then you have the American people like, oh, we want to have America for Americans only. He knows what he's doing, and especially that he's running for president next year. That is like a power thing he's using for the American people where they see that he's trying to keep our assets to for Americans only, quote-unquote, so that's... That's well, what that's what well in a way, wouldn't you want for us to own a country instead of foreigners? Because what if they start sticking in and especially buying all the land and they establish themselves in right. the land? You do make a good point. But you the know, last... it's like, so it's, it's controversial. Yeah. You make a good point, but the last time, like, I checked, it's the land of opportunity. So I feel like everyone's welcome because everyone has their own little, puts in their own little piece into this big whole country. Yeah. And to piggyback on what you said, Yvonne, I think that's why he made it, where you can't buy near critical infrastructure because he doesn't want them to have any power. Is it more of a spy thing, or is it more of a, it could, a it concern could be. over spy? It could be. Be. Against their yeah. And that's what I'm yeah. saying. He's probably using that as his reason. Yeah. Yeah, what? but that only covers Florida. I heard yeah. there's like 22 other states uh, that are trying to do something similar. So, uh, that's but, but then again, it is the United States. So it yeah. unites all kinds of immigrants. So then that's why you have your conflict because mm -hmm. people come here for an opportunity to fill, but then, then you have foreigners buying land and laundering money. Right. So it's, it's, it's just, it has its pros and cons depending on how you see it. Yeah. But then sometimes they create I mean, jobs for. Yeah. That's it. But they're opening too. up. Um, yeah. I also read that um, Florida. Is the top state in the country for foreign buyers, and China is the top source mm -hmm. for those buyers. With last year, they closed about six billion. Yeah, so it's a bad look because they're saying, "Oh, he's stopping all this transactional things from going on." With China being number one in Florida, but now he's cutting all that. As effective as July first. Yeah, July first. And then um, China, well, I think they were also prohibited from buying residential properties in Florida. Yeah. Yeah, but they can rent it. Residential. Residential. Specifically yeah. to China. So rent, all rentals is free game. You just yeah. can't purchase. You can rent, but you can't buy. Mm -hmm. Then you have the con, like some of them are saying, okay, well, my child or their kids are going to school here, so they mm -hmm. want to buy like a condo or a home so they can stay and live. But then again, um, you know, so it kind of makes it a little bit difficult for them to purchase yeah. now mm -hmm. because they're not going to be able to buy any additional housing, whatever is already being mm -hmm. purchased, that automatic, they have to report it to the state. So now you're kind of dealing with, you're giving power to the government, you know, because now you have mm -hmm. to submit all your information, all your da data to them, and they're going to control, basically. They are. They, 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 yeah. They yeah. They even those who own, like, agricultural land. Yes. They report it. Any foreign Agricultural land, land before July 1, 2023, you have to register. And then if you don't register after July 1, every day that you don't register, they're going to charge you a 1000 
And then not only that, the government can seize your property. Yeah. Well, I know that if anybody's found sell uh, selling properties, you're facing jail time. Fine, yeah, fine. Fine. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then now you're dealing also with trade. So it, it has a lot of conflicting the crazy thing is that it's uh, all of America's best friends, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah right. China, Russia, Venezuela, yeah. Cuba, Iran, North Korea, Syria. And then the best buddies. The, you know what I mean? <laughs> and they and then Russia, China, and North Korea are like buddy buddies right now. So yeah. what's going on is we got issues with them and they have issues with us. So DeSantis is taking it. If he becomes president, I don't know, man, World War Three maybe? Probably because it's kind of setting it up. Well, I don't know, but well, I'm wondering. I'm wondering if California is going to follow suit. I doubt it. No, I doubt it. You know, you guys talked about six billion dollars in Florida. What about California? How, how much has the Chinese filed? Well, actually, Florida uh, is number one, and then California. Yeah. Jesus Christ! I know there's a real estate firm that says that they're. I guess the Chinese government or something suing. Uh, yeah. For uh, for what's going on in Florida. But then there's this, this real estate company that had a lot of clients from China. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's like their main, main source, source of income. Source. Yeah. And now that's going to be, well, that's only one real estate office. There could be many others. And there's, you know, uh, I mean, I'm sure Chinese buy to to, um, to fix and flip and other things like mm -hmm. that. So, yeah, you're right when you said it financially it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. And then not only that, too, but... Um, when it comes to housing, it could be, it's going to hurt, but then it can benefit because a lot of the times all the investors, they buy all cash, mm -hmm. which a lot of the consumers, um, they have to get pre-qualified. So then it kind of takes that advantage from a regular buyer because all the investors have to buy mm -hmm. all cash. It's a domino effect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and so there's no inventory. And there's no, and then Correct. there's no inventory, yeah. especially right now. So that's what they're trying to do, trying to create um, more inventory, to create for, more inventory for home buyers. Mm -hmm. Because also for um, private the housing, for those who are low income, um, has gone the, it has gone up. Mm -hmm. And there's no, there's not enough housing to be able to just provide for, to support the people. Yeah. You know, housing and everything that we have to buy right now, it's like crazy. So in you know, a way it has its benefit, but then it doesn't. Because yeah. now you're talking about civil rights and you know, yeah. it's just very yeah. But the civil rights apply to the Chinese and they live in well, another country? No, no, no. Well, with the family members. It's a violation of the UNRWA. Yeah. Different things like that. But anyway. Well, like, you know, you could have, like, for example, like, what if, like, their kids have a permit to be down here, like, she was saying, like, go to school and stuff, and then they're immigrant, yeah, they're they're immigrant parents. There's, there's, um, I forgot, if they have the EA, I think it was the EA. You know, like, a college they has, like, a foreign. Acquire yeah. property, if they have, like, a proper... There's a specific a proper visa that they can acquire property, but if you don't, and they're like literally foreign national, then they can't purchase any other property. Yeah. I mean, it's the same I, think, go, go I don't know. I just feel like that's the way it should be. As long as it's done properly and they have the ability to purchase, as long as they do whatever they need to do with property or a visa or whatever, then that's probably. I, I it's like agree. closed. Yeah, I, I, I see that. But then there's like. What about like the land of opportunity, you know, coming in here and like, what if like that person has it a big is, game changer that's going to like, it's going to benefit us? Yeah, it is the land of opportunity, but also there's so many people that come here and they don't pay taxes. They don't do certain things that don't benefit the country as a whole. So I think they're trying to eliminate that, but there's different ways to do that. It doesn't necessarily have to be in ways like this. Well, I mean, the thing is that Chinese are the main uh, uh, sell. They sell a lot of merchandise, right? And they sell a lot of uh, what is it? Uh, the main manufacturing. They yeah, manufacturing a lot of Chinese stuff. It's here in the United States. It's like I think Mexico now is starting to gain, uh, yeah. get uh, some of the the American company orders. You know how you order? Yeah, uh, different states. Cars are being made in Mexico. In Mexico now, so I mean, China is some way somehow under some sort of attack by different countries. And then, don't you feel it's kind of strange that only certain country, communist countries are the ones that are being? Yeah, it's not all, right? <laughs> it's not like, like specific, they specific, right? specific seven countries. Mm -hmm. China, Cuba, Iran, North Korea, yeah. Russia, Syria. That's why I said the best friends. Yeah. And then, then we've had issues with, with all so, of it. Yeah. So there is the pros and cons, and then you just look at it now if it's ethical to do that, like you said. 
because there could be people who are people trying to buy property. Yeah. I mean, the only one who can overrule state is federal, yeah. right? And even then, um, man, that's going to be a battle. Really, a lot of things that are happening now are not efficient, but it's become such a norm. In fact, I was eventually, reading, yeah, yeah. I was reading something where the government every year they have documents that are hidden from the public, and it's increased so much that there's at least I think it was 16 million. Documents that are hidden from us a year. Well, it, yeah, I believe that. So be careful; you're gonna get the two suited, the, the two suited guys on. The <laughs> no, this is not WikiLeaks. Okay. Actually, <laughs> actually, no. they show up early, man. They did. I'm like, they're right there, knocking right. <laughs> oh, <Okay. laughs> Alexa, book it. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things going on with the government. A lot of things that you know, I talked to a couple of clients about things that. You know, I I can't discuss, you know, but I don't know how true it is. I, I've seen some stuff. Uh, again, I don't know how true a lot of things are, but, I mean, I do know one thing. Government does keep a lot of things from us, um, and uh, I just don't know where we are going to end up as a whole, whoever the next president is going to be. I, I don't see it being a Democrat. I don't. And a lot of people are going to lobby against it. I see it being a Republican. And if DeSantis wins or whoever wins, regardless, the mindset is going to be reset the economy, mm -hmm. put a tariff on, I think they already have tariff on the Chinese, mm -hmm. yeah. put a tariff on everybody they can to be able to get more money mm -hmm. and get them to kind of uh, convince them into not uh, yeah. and, and working with the, with the U.S. and allowing yeah. the U.S. to have other our own companies out there, manufacturers out there, and New Mexico. I think, to be quite honest with you, right now that you mentioned when like, you reset that economy, I think that's where it's heading. Like, for example, like last time we talked about the Fed now, and then mentioning right. all of this, like, they're trying to do a change that eventually they've probably been trying to do it throughout mm -hmm. the years, but they haven't, and they probably saw an opportunity right now, right. and they probably just want to go go ahead and run with it, because mm -hmm. I also um, read an article that, uh, the other day, for the Fed now that uh, has nothing to do with this topic, but they were just mentioned. Yeah, but like, so, yeah, yeah. Change is supposed to happen either if it happens now, uh, everything is changing, or yeah. later, but we're eventually going to go through it. So that's what they were saying. Like A lot of uh, people were agreeing with that comment, um, and they were just saying like we're actually okay with everything changing right now, because that way we can just get it over with and start seeing what's going to change instead of just doing it later. So then other people were saying that maybe we should wait a little bit longer before we change how everything is going to be. Uh, Ram? Mm -hmm. yeah. There's going to be a lot of changes coming to July 1st. Well, so, do you feel like the market is going to change? Or, like, if, let's like, say, on Saturday, the bill takes an action, so is it going to slow down our economy or increase it? Since well, I don't California? think that has anything to do with One state has nothing to do with yeah. everything. Yeah. California is the main one. Yeah. But maybe they'll definitely see a change. Yeah. You know, maybe what if they had all those like upcoming closings or future buyers are going to like buy, you know, now no longer. I think little things like state by state is changing, but nothing huge like the dollar. Like I've been reading that they've been trying to change the dollar since way back, like, hundreds of years ago, and it's never happened. But I think no. now it's probably a good time because imagine technology back then. Well, no, no, I get yeah. that. But what I'm saying is things are can be changed, but it's something major, like the U.S. dollar. It's small bills that are being passed slowly but surely. So right. it may change, but gradually. Mm -hmm. so. I, I mean, I don't know. Um, for an, If you can tell me or maybe you can give some research, some information for in, in reference to um, July 1st. We have a lot of laws coming in, one of them by Florida, another one the Fed now. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the app, kicks yeah. in, right? And a lot of, so I think they're going to overwhelm them, overwhelm us with certain uh, laws and whatever. And it's so just, we can probably look into see what they, what California has. I'm sure there's something coming up. Mm -hmm. It's laws. happening like right before our eyes, and like no matter what, we can't do nothing about it. Yeah, We're going to have to go with setting a whole bunch of them at the same time. Yeah. And I'll, so I'll, we can I'll, ignore I'll, certain ones. I'll, and I want you guys are, you know, to see what comes in July 1st because it's, it's creepy. Right? A lot of changes coming in. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. one of them is our first time home by yourself July 1st. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> office. Uh, that's a new law. law. You guys are all California. That's a new law. law. Yeah. 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 That's a new law. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to the prop, the purchase of property from internationals, I don't think we'll be affected over here. Mm -hmm. I think we're too liberal of a state to even think about something like that. The Santas, yeah, he did it, and he's facing backlash, but he don't care. He's that type of person. 
I'm not surprised at that one. That, that it got right. passed. Yeah. It's just like they've been passing a lot of girls recently. Well, that's Florida. Florida's, yeah. Florida's quote unquote awful place to live. Oh, and it's just being spread up there. So, one of the things that's happening is high volume third party sellers will be required to provide data, including contact information and bank account numbers. Mm-hmm. That's the invasion of And AB 2960 allows people in California to request a petition for a restraining order related to domestic violence or gun control mm-hmm. electronically. So little things here and there, you know, but, you know, the Florida one and the Fed now uh, app coming out, um, one of many things that's going to, to, to shift our, not just the, our our, um, our legal system, it's going to shift a lot of things. Yeah, definitely. Anybody want to let that we're staying aware of it? Yeah. Seeing like what's going on, you know? My concern, just to let you know, is not me. It's not like one foot out the door. It's my kids and then their kids, you know. And so you guys, uh, who knows where we're headed. I know as as the country, how can I say it, uh, country gets older, <laughs> the politicians get older, the new, newer politicians yeah, come in, the new generation comes mm-hmm. in, yeah, this dollar is going to be gone, done, right? And the only thing that has value is gold and silver. Uh, other than that, you guys are going to have control of what is worth what through an app. So it's it's not an app, but yeah, it's an app. I mean, yeah, pretty it's much it's like you have access to digital funds. It's kind of scary and creepy. So, yeah. I mean, regardless, uh, one last thing. Did you guys know that you can buy property with Bitcoin? Yeah. 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 Crazy, right? I thought you were going to say something else. What's about about <laughs> Which one? The DBT. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. We'll leave that one alone. We'll leave that one alone. I thought they'd do it. You guys are funny. Anyway, so uh, we are... What? What? what how, how much time do we have left? We're, we're actually at 17. 17. Yeah, 17. All right, so let's let's yeah. wrap it up. But, I mean, there's a lot of things we want to talk about, not just this uh, podcast, but many other podcasts. We want everybody here, you guys, send us comments. Give us some information you'd like to learn on. We're not afraid to learn. We're not afraid to teach. Uh, and I think uh, the more we can give you guys, the more alert we can make you. Not just real estate, because we're a real estate mortgage brokerage. We do you know, credit restriction. We do pretty much a lot of things that other companies don't. But we also step outside of the subject of real estate. We like to step outside to the real world, what's going on in the real world. There's so many things happening that, I mean, if we sit here and do research, I can probably give you a thousand things that happen in one day. That's how yeah. fast uh, we, we we move the world. The world is just constantly changing and it's not for the better. However, you got to make the best out of your world because when you die, your world is done, right? But the earth as we know it continues. With this being said, we'll be uh, asking you guys to please, uh, any questions you guys have, anything, any information, anything you need, feel free to contact us. Uh, Yvonne, you mentioned the first time home buyer seminar. Oh, yeah. This yes. Saturday from 12 to 2, right here uh, at our Bellflower office, 16536 Bellflower Boulevard in Bellflower, California. <laughs> feel free to join us. <laughs> Zip code 9076. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you forgot. And then yeah. also, uh, Rafael, we'll be putting up some videos on the last yeah, week's so event. so we actually had a Bellflower event outside, and we took a lot of videos, and it was a really fun event, so we just want to share that with you, so you guys can see what type of community Bellflower is, and all the events that they do throughout the summertime. And we're going to put the people we interviewed on there. Yeah. Uh, they did interview people regarding like so you guys watch so so we're watching stay this, tuned be, stay tuned you'll be on there uh, anything you guys want to say in, in uh, on our way out anything good positive motivational inspirational besides the sad stories we're talking about don't forget to come to like comment and subscribe <laughs> that's a that's a positive it's thing yeah anything motivational don't let the negative things of today affect your tomorrow yes facts I agree with that one. I would want to say, uh, bet on yourself. Don't bet on no one else but yourself. Facts. In full effects. Um, should I spit the same bar that I did last time? Dude, you yeah. just <laughs> it's, 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 it's like this, man. You gotta, anytime you open your eyes, right, regardless of what's going on in the world, right, and in our country, you open your eyes, it's like, thank you, Lord. Uh, there are some people that don't get to open their eyes. 
And there are some, some people that are just no longer with us, you know, and we pray for their soul, we pray for them. I also pray for those who are alive, for those of us that are going to have to go through some of these things. But at the end of the day, when you get to open your eyes and God gives you another shot at life, you're going to give it your 1,000%, not even 100. Give it your 1,000% every day. Live that day like it was your last day because you just never know. But I'll tell you this much. If I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out with the bank, right? And so in anything you do and everything you do, give it 1,000%. Be your best. Challenge yourself. And no, I'm not making a bank commercial, but yes, I'm going to go out with the bank. Uh, <laughs> challenge yourself to be better because your biggest, your biggest challenger and your biggest enemy could be yourself and your mindset. So just... You know, challenge yourself to be better and always stay up, stay positive. Thank God for me. Thank God for whatever your belief is. Nothing else. Every day is a new day. Hey, you know what? I like those sort of motivational, like yeah. six words. <laughs> <laughs> no, but anyways. All right, guys. Well, Ruben, Chris, XGFI, I'm out. Rafael, I'll see you guys later. Fernando, Hector out. Lex, Yvonne. Bye, guys. Bye,